So the CBN, okay, the CBN, uh, a subsidiary of the CBN was said to have diverted 255 million, not 255 billion, 255 billion that they ought to have given the banks. That is, apart from bribes that were taken from banks, I mean, from uh, farmers, and ultimately the farmers didn't get loans. So there is a lot that they are investigating uh, it may over. And remember, one of the, uh, the top uh, people at CBN uh, by the name Abbas Masanawa was also arrested uh, recently uh, in line with the investigation of uh, Emil Fele that is still on. When you are investigating an individual, all, you get all kinds of leads. There was a lot of sleaze that went on, especially in the foreign exchange market. And investigators are determined to get to the root of all of these things. If a MFLA is found uh, uh, blameless, of course, it's going to be released. But at this time, a MFLA is also pursuing the possibility of a plea bargain. This came up uh, last week, and I confirmed that, yes, there is a desire to try and achieve plea bargain. What I think this government is largely interested in is wherever stolen monies can be found, it will be happy to go get the money so that um, we can use the money for something productive. So if a Mayfellers uh, desire to pursue plea bargain in respect of the 6.9 billion, uh, the trial, is trial over 6.9 billion uh, sleeves, they will be happy to do that as long as um, an overwhelming uh, proportion of that money comes back to our national coffers. Already, the vehicles that were used, that were purchased with that money, have been seized. Some of the people in CBN that were uh, CBN staff that MFLA allowed them to do contracts to make supplies uh, uh, respect of the bank yeah. have been arrested. And the probe is very much on. Mm. So ultimately, from what I see, so many things happened under this man, and his investigation would take quite some time. Mm. I mean, how could anybody, right. a CBN governor, decide to take money from our foreign reserves mm. to collateralize foreign loans is, is, is unheard of. And that's why our foreign reserves is depleted. Yeah. We were told that we had more than $33 billion uh, in, the, in our foreign reserve, but everyone has seen now that it is a lie. That's right. No accountability of any sort. Why would you not, why would you not have the finances of uh, the CBN audited and a financial statement published since 2015 if you didn't have something to hide. Some of what they try to hide is what we now know. That our foreign reserve is not as hefty as we've been led to believe uh, all these years. In fact, um, I think it was JP Morgan mm. that told us that we actually have we have about three, just about three point three uh, billion dollars left. Yet we are told that we had uh, more than uh, thirty billion. It will yeah. take a long while before uh, the, all of the facts relating to a mafialist, uh, horrible tenure, yeah. a CPN governor, are uh, uh, on health. 